just uh, as we are celebrating equity, we are due to commence, and uh, indeed we have already commenced the process of organizing the primaries in Oshu State, after which we will be going for the elections uh, in Oshu State uh, over the next two months or thereabout. And uh, today we have reflected on, uh, we have gone through the screening exercise and uh, we have 17 uh, aspirants who have expressed interest and who had obtained the nomination form. All 17 have been screened by a panel of very eminent uh, Nigerians who are members of the party. And we are impressed that from their findings, all 17 of them, each and every one of them, can effectively govern Oshu State. And so we are very fortunate that we, we don't lack competent hands to, uh, 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 to provide leadership for the governance of Oshu State after the end of uh, uh, Ogbeni, Rauf, Arik Beshola. And over the next couple of days, we'll be doing whatever we can to ensure that these uh, aspirants who have now been cleared by the screening committee recognizes that even as all 17 of them, by politician standard, can be said to be angels, to the extent that they are all adjusted to be fit and proper individuals to hold the office that they have they are vying for. However, the truth of the matter is. Of these 17 angels, if they were angels, we only need one angel to fly the flag of the All Progressive Congress in the next governorship election. So 16 of them have to be able to find some comfort, even if they are not favored through the nomination process. Not on account of the fact that anyone is more competent than the other, but that they let this party can only nominate one candidate. We expect that, regardless of who wins the primaries, that the rest of the aspirants will queue behind the person as true party men and women and ensure that we all do our very best to retain the governance of, Ikitis, of uh, Oshu State, which is already under the fold of the All Progressive Congress. Um, we have decided that in order to ensure popular participation and to deepen democracy in, in Oshu State, that the primary elections in Oshu State, in line with the provisions of our constitution, which allow for either direct or indirect primaries, we have resolved that the governorship election in Oshu State will be conducted on the basis of direct primaries which means every card carry member of our party will participate in the process of nominating the flag bearer of the party who will contest the governorship election on our party platform. This for us is the most democratic way to conduct election. And it's also in line with what our critical, I emphasize, critical stakeholders in that part of the state, that is what they want, and that we are quite happy to oblige. The whole idea is that the more we allow our party members to participate in the process of nominating candidates, to that extent we eliminate the issue of corruption or of monetizing the, 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 the processes of a nominating candidate. In addition to the fact that party members who have a sense of ownership of the outcome of the, of, the, uh, of the exercise. In order to ensure that the exercise is conducted by very competent men and women of proven character and integrity and who cannot be compromised, we have also decided to nominate um, a panel that will be chaired by the governor of Zamfara State Governor Yari, who is in Italy, is also the chairman of Governor's Forum. Given his stature and his pedigree, we have no doubt that no one 
can compromise him and he will approach this exercise in line with the letter and the spirit of our constitution. He will be working along with four other uh, persons of, of integrity, you know, who we work with him and any other person they want to co-opt in to assist them to assure that these direct primaries are conducted hitch free and that the outcome lays a foundation for popular mobilization of the Ekiti electorate. Lastly, of a Oshu electorate. You know, I have not fully recovered from the jubilation of, uh, of, uh, of Ekiti victory.